Let's ask it to buy us $20 of Bitcoin. So I've been working on this tool called Cryptocurrency GPT that's supposed to be your own personal cryptocurrency assistant. It can buy cryptocurrencies on your behalf, it can look up the price of cryptocurrencies, it can help you understand the fundamentals of what makes that project interesting, uh, and it can also plot data for you. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to say that there's no podcast episode this week. As you may have noticed, I started this podcast series called Proof of Talk, where I invite people from the cryptocurrency world to come and talk to me about the projects that they're involved in. It's just a cool space where we just deep dive into some ideas and and people's experiences into crypto. And I just wanted to say that if you are a builder and you're watching this and you want to come talk on my podcast, just shoot me a DM on Twitter and I'd love to talk to you about it. Cool. Now, let's jump into cryptocurrency GPT. So let's start by asking, what is the current price of Ethereum? What is the current price of ETH? So this is actually real data. You know how ChatGPT can sometimes hallucinate information and just outright lie to you and kind of make stuff up if it doesn't know what the answer is. This is not the case. This is actually real life information about the Ethereum price as it is right now. For instance, we're gonna ask the same question again it's likely that we're, we're going to receive a slightly different number than we did last time. So let's just try that again for completion. So, uh, okay, just give me the price of Ethereum again. And you see, there's a slight difference between the price then and the price now. So the cool thing about it is that this is connected to my Binance account using the Binance API. So it's aware of of my Binance activity, right? So for instance, I can say, what are my last trades on Binance? And sure enough, it's using the Binance API and is returning the last few trades that I've done on Binance. So you can see the trade ID, you can see the symbol, you can see the order type, you can see the status and the quantity. So again, this is real information. This is not hallucinated parameters or hallucinated data or just making stuff up. This is actually my my, my Binance history through through this application. Uh, Let's ask it how much ETH or how much USDT I've got in my account. How much USDT do I have in my account? Okay, so we have a little bit of USDT. We can place one trade or two. Another cool thing that you can do with it is that you can actually ask it to buy you cryptocurrency straight from here. As long as it's connected to your Binance account, you should be able to just buy crypto straight through your your cryptocurrency GPT assistant. Let's ask it to buy us $20 of Bitcoin. Okay, so you can see that my USDT balance is now $8, so which means that it placed an order of approximately $20 and it bought me uh, $20 worth of Bitcoin. So let's uh, ask how much Bitcoin we're currently holding. How much Bitcoin are we currently holding? So we're currently holding 0.0007 Bitcoin, which is just a little bit over $20 of Bitcoin, which again confirms that it had placed the order. You can also go to your Binance order history and double check this if you like. Okay, so finally, the last cool thing that this tool can do is that it can plot data in real time. So you can ask it to plot you a Bitcoin chart and it'll do that. So here we go. We've asked it to plot us a chart for the last 30 five minute Bitcoin candles. So each candle represents a five minute interval. Um, and uh, and here's a chart. It comes straight from TradingView. It interacts with the TradingView API and it gives you real time chart information. 
Um, I think they uh, just the date is a bit weird. It doesn't uh, uh, properly input the the actual interval date in here. But as far as this is concerned, this is actually this is actual live uh, uh, chart data. So that's pretty cool. You can ask it. Um, based on this kind of format you can ask it to plot you any kind of uh, any kind of data so you can uh, ask it for let's say uh polka dot polka dot candles and instead of five minutes we're gonna do 15 minute and instead of last 30 candles we're gonna do last uh, 50 candles but we're gonna just gonna clear history first because sometimes you can you can have too much memory and when you're trying to give it the message to complete this request it will just be uh, it will go over the tokens that you're allowed through the open ai api and sure enough this is the polka dot um chart with the last 50 candles on a 15 minute interval let's try one more let's do dodge uh, let's see if we can get it to plot us the last 100 candles on a 30 minute interval. I'm just gonna clear the history again and run. <laughs> and just like that, you've plotted a new chart. Pretty cool, right? Oh, and it can also look up information that it's not aware of. So it's connected to a Brave Browser. So if, you're ask, if you ask it a question about any cryptocurrency or, or anything at all, if it doesn't know that information, it will, look, um, it will look for it on the web and then try and return a relevant response. So yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. I just wanted to share this tool with you. If you're a developer or you just want to play around with it, I've open sourced it and it's all on GitHub. I'll leave the links down in the description below so you can uh, you can fork your own version if you like um, or you can just play around with, with the base one um, if you're into that.